there's anything behind quantum mechanics but the, the, the structuring of, of error math because we don't have instruments capable of, of picking apart things too tiny for our little tweezers. I mean, it's not that fucking complicated. And until we, and it's going to be very hard to prove one way or the other because we don't have an instrument. So how the fuck can we examine something we don't have an instrument delicate enough to examine? It, it exists and it is, it is something, but it's, it's a continuous spectrum. So it depends on your perspective. It is, it is subjective. Everything. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, you're going to just sit there and say because you have some quantum bullshit in your head that this pen isn't a pen and that there's no, we can't make distinctions, that we can't tell the difference between a rock and a dog. We can't tell the difference between a thinking living thing and a feeling living thing and a microbe. I mean, bull fucking shit. It is subjective. You can take any viewpoint that you want from it and see you can't really say that aliens are always going to look down and be like, ah, oh, that's terrible. Intelligence is always going to recognize um, it can't avoid the truth, okay? That's what intelligence looks for, is the truth, is the distinctions. That's the whole point of intelligence, is to make the distinctions, is to be able to tell the difference between one thing and another thing, and to qualify what it is, to put what it is in a context, and define what it is. I mean, that's what intelligence does. It, it judges, it, 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 it um, examines, it dissects. Because maybe they're energy aliens. Maybe it's an uh, alien species that has a collective consciousness that birthed from another planet and they went through the exact same... Oh planet. yeah, well you can't explain how they birthed it then. If they birthed in, in any way that we birthed through some process of natural selection, then they have the same liability that we have, which would likely be a, a sentience feeling that they are that creates motivation and an intelligence that's basically used as a scheming tool to satisfy those motivations and that if they're lucky they they gain this higher intelligence and then all of a sudden they can break the rules and no longer they have to the, no, the mission is no longer to satisfy a single organism the mission is to satisfy the burdens of the truth the demands of the fucking truth I mean, there's just no way they can. Uh, aliens are going to be able to uh, avoid the Mr. Spock Vulcan syndrome. That's where alien intelligence is going to go. That's where intelligence is going to go. It it does. Intelligence doesn't get dumb. It gets smart. Process so they know what's going on. They knew that the infighting and the struggle was all necessary as part of you know a birth into a higher understanding. Uh, blah 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 yeah birth into their special sauce that they smear on their you know uh, eight-legged cow burger or whatever the fuck they eat uh, you know they have the same liabilities as us the same bullshit and you, you, I mean it's just nonsense and it's like again again to to sit there and say that intelligence is going to sit there and play this stupid game where it's just saying matter 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 little fuzzy matter blah 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 little sun sparkly sparkly glitter glitter I mean, it's just such bullshit. The most important thing in the universe is consciousness. There's not something else here. There's feelings and there's thinkings. And that's, this is it. This is the ball game. There's no some other ball game, butthead. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying it's possible, but or that's not what's, I'm not saying that's what's going on, but... No, you're just going to inject it into a conversation, like we, because we need somehow we need more unicorn shit, you know, because that's somehow going to help the the recipe. We're going to get to the truth by throwing around a bunch of, sh you know, uh, uh, crap out of the asses of mystical creatures. It's you see what I'm saying? It's not. It's, you, you just you can't say that it's always bad, no matter what, especially since you don't know the. Well, I, you know, that's not exactly what I'm saying. It's kind of a, a cheap and narrow paraphrase. Uh, but what I am saying is that there's a mechanism here. And if the mechanism is built around a, a, a completely um, contrived uh, um, creation of a, of, a, of a concept of addiction, you know, need without real need, okay, just, just to get the organism moving, just to force movement, um, just to um, refunnel 
this energy, this, this momentum into movements that are constructive for these individual organisms, well yes, an intelligence is going to see that as being very superficial, crude, um, and, not, and, and not something likely to produce positive efficiency. It's likely to waste suffering. The outcome. Like when a baby's born, it's like, what the fuck is going on? It's the most painful thing ever. No, it's not. Again, you just pull that out of your ass. It doesn't even have the fully developed brain, so we don't even know what the fuck it has. And there's most doctors would concede, or most researchers in the field, that whatever it has is a consciousness. It's certainly not of a fully sentient consciousness. And it certainly isn't language capable, and it certainly isn't a lot of things at that you know in that stage. So this idea that it is it is pondering such concepts seems preposterously remote. Horrible. Is that objectively bad because of all the pain? Again, bad example. Uh, who's whining? I'm not. I'm not um, advocating that anybody should give a fuck about. Uh, newborn babies, I'm arguing they should give a fuck about chimpanzees, and they should give a fuck about gorillas, and other mammals, and other animals that have complex emotional lives. Uh, screw this newborn baby bullshit. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's it's an interesting sentiment where you... I guess we are a result of our culture. Maybe. Where? Well, we're pro polluted by it. I mean, you know, so yeah, it creates the foundation of where we can go in terms of our capacity to think. So it gives us good things and it gives us liabilities. And finding some way to work through that, and allowing it to mix inside your head. But I mean, obviously, for me personally, I can't say the culture was wrong because the culture enables me to say it's wrong. I mean, if you get my drift, I'm not incapable of stepping beyond it, so it can't be entirely wrong because it's given me the tools to understand the truth of its bad influence. You know, if we're going to have a culture, we should try and not uh, breed people that see through it or raise them in some way. Uh, I can't really come up with a rebuttal off of that. I don't, I don't think it works that way. I think you're here. Because some asshole makes a decision, okay, a choice not to wear a condom. That's why I'm here. I'm here because some person decides that they're going to reproduce, that they can take responsibility for creating a new consciousness and that they're willing to take the risk. Not only the risk that it be born flawed or broken um, and therefore subjected to, to suffering, but that it might not be able to find a way to, to, to um, um, I, the word I can't say, integrate into this society, the structure that we've built, and it would find it repulsive and obnoxious, and, and it, could not, it would not thrive. And so this asshole has taken on that responsibility and said they're competent to take on the responsibility of taking the risk with this living thing because they think the odds are, I guess, or they think it's worth it for every person who's in love with the silly culture and, and loves to chase the pretty shiny things, that for every one of those retards, um, that somehow one of those retards justifies however many... Um, um, lives of mediocrity are created and lives of real hard suffering are created. That's why people are here. They're here because people make choices to put them here. Because you don't agree with this culture to shift it towards something that makes more sense. To help shift it. Just to be part of the critical mass that is unhappy with what's going on. It's a long way from a critical mass, I'm afraid. Uh, I mean, if you think there's some sort of critical mass out there, I don't see no critical mass. I see people voting for George Bush's second term. Um, you know, I, I see people not critical massing at all. And if you want to be all angsty about it, and you know, whatever opinion, that's 
Oh, whatever. You know, why don't you walk up to a Holocaust victim and then talk that, say, be all angsty about it. Go ahead, do that. I mean, it's just such a petty piece of shit kind of rhetoric. Be all angsty about it. You, know, you want to get all complainy about the problems in the world, like they really matter. I mean, fuck you. I mean, I mean, really. Fuck you. You're part of the goddamn problem. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the goddamn problem. And that kind of rhetoric just basically says, well, the people just be people. People can do whatever the fuck they want. And blah, blah, blah. It's just too bad. And so lump it, fucker. I mean, fuck you. I mean, you should get the worst of it. You deserve the worst. The worst it can dump. It should be dumped on people like you. You fucking, you defend it. You justify it. You put your seal of approval on it so it should fucking goddamn fall right the fuck in your goddamn lap. The hot, stinky, radioactive potato should be shoved right the fuck up.